What is up, everybody? We back with another video. It's your boy, the Black James Bond. Before we get started, before we get started, before we get started, make sure you subscribe. So today we doing a debate night 2020, a bad lip reading of the first presidential debate. The only issue with this is you could have played the regular debate. I could be reacting to the regular debate and you wouldn't guess this is what came out of their mouth. I remember I remember Joe Biden's calling Trump a clown. He was like, will you shut up, man? Oh, God. Who knows how this is about to go? All right, so let's get into it. A bad lip reading. I need to gather myself. His Lord knows. All right, let's do it. And I guess we're back. Oh, I guess we're back. We live right now? Yep. Such fun. Now, the <laughs> Such first question fun. is, where should I put it? In the trunk. I'd stick it in the lasagna. Okay. <laughs> Joe, you like my hemp puppet binky? This is definitely how Joe doesn't Trump know say. how to do this kind of stuff, does he? <sighs> is this something that you have to do right now? Doop. It's so childish. Navel. Hey, look at me, Bojangles. <laughs> President Trump, do you need to hold Papa's hand? <laughs> Bojangles. He called him Bojangles. <laughs> Will someone answer the phone? The phone? Get the phone? <laughs> someone answer the phone. <laughs> There is no phone that's ringing. <laughs> no, right there, the ring. face. I don't hey, hear bro. I don't hear any oh, ringing. Oh boy. Uh, what do I do? Oh no. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? I'm mortified. Yep. Chris, I would like I'm mortified. to use the c word. Caring. What c word? Oh. But chunks. <laughs> that's not but a word chunks. he would use. But chunks. Caring. Really? What'd you think I'd say? Thank you. <laughs> I don't feel that safe with a lot of people. But chunks! I hope someone has an EpiPen because I'm frighteningly allergic to corn. Oh, wait a minute then. <laughs> he said, I hope someone has an EpiPen because I'm allergic to corn. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> what? Now we buy the corn. Who sent you? The corn. Who now, sent you? Wait, guys. Who hey. sent you? You know what that sound That's means? That's how I feel when people just be popping up. Cinco favoritos. And uh, President Trump, you're up favorites. first. Just go. Your favorite nickname for yourself. Cougar Heart. Cougar Your favorite Heart. Bill. Uh, the gas bill, I'd say. <laughs> the gas bill. Hey, bro. Your favorite animal sound. Bzz. Your favorite sense to smell in a lover. Mm, ashtray. Your favorite place to meet ex-circus performers. Clown shed. What? Oh, great. Vice President Biden. Favorite place to meet ex-circus performers. Clown shed. What? Your favorite shape. Mm, stick. Your favorite movie. Showgirls. <laughs> Your favorite body part. Uh, Nostrils. Bro. Your favorite meat. Penguin. And your favorite Penguin, form of bro. It looked like he's saying it, think bro. Out. That is correct. My favorites. And they asked him their old favorites, and they bad. answered it. You hey, know, bro. in the 90s, he called the pagers stupid pagers. Yeah, and he did. said it I all said the time. That. Pagers, said, stupid pagers. Stupid They're pagers. just not he good. I would pagers was that. a crazy oh, idea. Yeah. Hey, yo, think about the concept of pagers. I'm going to use my phone to send a call to your device that you keep on your hip. And then you're going to see the number and you know star 22 is me. What? What? How did pages even last that long, bro? But it's the same era as pay phones. So it kind of makes sense. But thank God they made cell phones. I would not dare walk around, walk around with a pager now. Yeah. Uh, nah. They were simple. <laughs> <laughs> One whiskey. Chris, you think you'll find One a whiskey. in a grove of wheat? Well, that just depends on whether his horns are horns. See, it's hey, about the horn. Why does Joe Biden talk like that, though? He horns. definitely talk like, uh, like humans, eyebrows see, And they usually slip on down into Sinbad's hole, that toxic sewer, and nobody should be in there. 
You know, except for the horrifying bleach bird. Oh, you don't say. But <laughs> today we're gonna make a, a pig roll in a. How many stupid? Ah! How are we gonna get through this? <laughs> Ah, hey, yo. I don't know if we can do it. <laughs> All right, we got no, seven minutes left. Brazil. You know what? For yeah. most Brazilians, frogs have to go in the breakfast we, cereal. We, we, for most Brazilians, frogs have to go in the breakfast cereal. Yeah, breakfast yeah, cereal. I'm not going to assume any facts about what's popping in Brazil. Spoiler, Dad. About what's popping. If I ever heard Joe about it, say popping. Sorry to make it about me, but my youngest nephew Kevin told me I found some really good frosting. It's icing. Frosting. No, it's frosting. If you cut icing frosting, you should beat yourself. Trust me, I am. Yeah, I'd like you. Do y'all call it icing or frosting? What do I call it? Shit. Let me think. I kind of. I think I say. I think I say icing. What do y'all call it? Leave a comment below. Is it icing or frosting? Which one do you say? Flesh everywhere. Oh no. You're worse than 300 itchy uh, sweaters. Uh, howdy folks. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit your You're worse than 300 itchy time. sweaters. Yes. 300 itchy sweaters. Yo, I don't terrible. even know those people who snowboard and go off and have a big day. You okay, man? Day. Why are you so <laughs> psycho? Whoa, whoa, Why stop do you make it, it smile so you like agree that? that he should stop then? No, both of you, okay? Yeah. You can't. My man said uh, no so control fat. over this debate. No, like you're the moderator, bro. It was only Describe you bruised my big old body today with that I sinner's would, mouth. I mean, I was with all of really his spiritless energy. Hey, I will go top. sounded kind of wrong. I will go top. We don't want to see that. On the sea serpent. It's kind of hard to believe you're the hopes of the village, <laughs> Chris. If you, it's kind of hard to believe we put our, our faith in, in our faith and our trust in, in either. I mean, I like Joe Biden, I like it, I like his heart. Like, he, 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 he. He he feel what he's saying. It's like you could like I don't look. I don't put nothing past anybody. But leaving all your trust in one person, you're an idiot. I hate to say it, but you're an idiot. If you if you completely leave a hundred, a thousand percent, like all your trust, never trust somebody to the complete extent where you become vulnerable. Because people are still people. If you cooked, I probably wouldn't chew anything. I would just spit it. Cause I. Huh. Oh. 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 Hey, pork chops, oh. what are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered my dream from last night. There were these little tiny meat people who are my favorite friends, though I admit they were real oily. Meat people, and they were like, they were good oily. job, Papa, and they were happy. Hey, was I like the dialogue, because this definitely describes the them. Came for me like, and drew its Donald Trump for. showing his McDonald's Chris, diet. Am I pointing at me? Right now, I am not super great at pointing. You're pointing at you. Yes, you're pointing I'm at you. Not trying to point at me right now. A blank form is you need to get I that point. together. It's real hot and veiny and kind of provoly. It's real hot and provoly. Why does it sound? Why does it look Chris, like what he's saying, he bro? He came up and burped behind me and then blew uh, it. Uh, that wasn't burping. Was, <laughs> he blew it. Blew it. And burped and then blew it. That was the wind <laughs> that shoots off in a sexier way. No, the wind shoots it? off in a sexier way, bro. I do get it. It's time to act. It's time for the most important part of hey, the night. Hey, this yeah. is only the we'll beginning, bro. We'll give you various bro. situations and scenarios, and then you both act them out. Get it? Okay. Go got on it. first, we've got Papa Pizza Johan. You question what your wife bought you for your birthday. I have to own a spider tank? You're more upset than that. <laughs> uh, I have to, have to own a spider tank. You spot your neighbor, a Proctoflecticus Blubberman. Oh, hey, what? Blubberman. Oh, that's the name. A, proper, a man who thinks his Proctoflecticus Blubberman. Proper, proper oh, hey, Blubberman. Blubberman. <laughs> a man who thinks his candy is alive. Hey, I have these gummies, and all these gummies have brain. A romantic movie. If your gummies, you think your gummies alive, you just got fed edible, my sir. Like, sir. If your edibles, if your edibles talking, you are 
SOL. Be seen with Harry Styles. Wait, Harry. Your worst possession, which you have in your pocket, is my heart. And sweetie, I would like you to put it back. <laughs> oh, I'm a side detective. That's actually a good line. What? And sweetie, I would like you to put it back. Hey, what? Take movie scene with Harry Styles. Wait, Harry. Your worst possession, which you have in your pocket, is my heart. Your and worst sweetie, possession in your like pocket you is my heart, and I would like oh, you to I'm put it back. I'm a side detective just learning that all of the victim's stomachs contain words that have been cut out of magazines. Oh, you weird. got a serial killer on your hand. I think these were people that were on a paper diet. You send a your paper diet to the kitchen. A paper you diet. Your favorite Sesame Street character is going through a rough time during the holidays. Big Bird cried in my stuffing. Sadder. Big Bird cried in my stuffing. Nice. Bro, I hate how this looked like this what they saying, bro. Guys, I think it was a dog who farted. You cut tiny strips of paper to accent <laughs> the miniatures in your dollhouse. Now I have scraps that'll fit in the little typewriter. Right after watching the movie Babe, your girlfriend asked what you want for lunch. Well, not a hot dog. I, I'll never touch it again. I'm done with that. <laughs> I've never seen You're babe. You're a cop who just it. cut his partner <laughs> trying to steal diamonds from the evidence room. DeSanto, the ice. You gotta leave the ice, Tony. The diamonds are fake. They're not even actual. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Well, now that I've had a cream soda. Oh, Tony's upset. A upset. cream soda, bro. Tony, it's okay. It's all he right. picks up a crossbow. Tony, don't do it. Put it away. Bro, I yeah, hate Tony, whoever made so this, bro. And scene. I hate wow. whoever made this, bro. BBB, the I hate whoever was made was this, bro. Are you running out of vein juice? DeSanto is. Like, uh, what? Oh, hey, uh -huh. wait. Oh. Now, President <laughs> Trump, it's your turn to go. A young Think about man all is this having stuff. trouble making friends and asks you for advice. Well, Angelo, well. maybe it's your face? It's already gotten to me. You find a zit while you're taking a shower. Uh-uh, there's a pimple upon my birthday suit. You let there's Melania know you're in the mood. There's a pimple upon my birthday hey, suit. Your is tingly. You make fun my of Farmer Doug tingly. and his ex- Hey, who wrote this stuff for Donald Trump, bro? Like, I think Donald Trump was his own ghostwriter in this. Centric wife. What are you, farmer people? Farmer people? Look at your big old mustache, and you must be Odd Petunia. You complain to the flight attendant. Why is there no pizza on this plane? He offers you toast. I just talked I about like his diet. Toast. Why not? Because it's just a habit, I think. You try to start trouble between a ferret and a frog. A ferret? That Ferret. frog hates to hear you sneeze, by the way. I hate Donald Trump's Your hiking buddy suffers bro. a terrible injury and you're miles from any help. Best to glue on the peen. You don't have any glue. You put the peen in a purse, I'll offer you a chocolate milk. Hey, you got a parasite. Talking about glue in. <laughs> you're a hairdresser, touching the back of a client's head while she stares in the mirror. I like it. She asks you to take off her mask. Let me ask you, dear, why? Why? You describe the zoo to a young child. The zoo... It's just a gross park. As you walk out a of Trump's tower, a homeless man asks you for spare change. <laughs> that. A prince of poverty. You decide... I to go on a diet. Uh, yes, Beverly. Could you give me a rice cake? The powerful monarch tells you she's not interested in dating you. Oh wait, Empress, I have a Greek body. She needs more convincing. <laughs> I have a Greek body, bro. <laughs> Just let me be your emperor. Baby, you want that too, for the people. You want that only, too for them, Only right? Greek animal, Not only Greek bad, character actually. he would be is Goose. I bought these tiny beans that are supposed to make new flowers, but mean they're kind of dumb because, because, you know, I've got a Mustang. That was yeah, well, I got an a Italian rapper's car. See, I, I think I'm gonna poop I, in it as I've I, never pooped see, before. See, I've been sponging on my fish hooks. Kill me. Why are you so cranky? Why have you been ignoring the world, you robot? Cause I'm over it. Thank you. What? It looks so sad. My man took so you know, many vacations. Arms wings, I'd fly away. Look, people if on these fire arms or wings, I'd fly away. People not on fire can lend a help. Why I do just, you and everyone else you know, think with their feelings? Man, you're a you know bronze what? goblin. You're a busted a scooter. A bronze goblin, bro. He does look like a bronze goblin. <laughs>
no, 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 you so old you always smell like musty bean water. Like bean cups or something. Vote for Joe Biden, not a maggot. Uh, <laughs> you got dandruff. You're a dirty cow sack. Yeah, well, you'll flee from me. You should bite a sword. You know With access to dozens of insurance companies, you know what, guys? I just sort of imagined that I put my head inside of a stove. That's really what it feels like. That's really what it feels like listening to them. That's really what it feels like listening to them talk, bro. It's just. <sighs> Make sure y'all vote. Please. Exercise the power and the influence of democracy that we live in. We could be living in a dictatorship. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, God. Do y'all want a part two of this? Drop a comment below. Let me know if you want a part two. This was iconic. Whoever wrote this, I think Donald Trump is his own ghostwriter. Because there's no way somebody else would come up with the stuff you think of. All right, y'all. I'm off this. Make sure you subscribe.